Right? Yeah. When you play the jingle, mm -hmm. some people cry. Uh, it's that emotional. It is. It's that emotional. And there's yeah, a reason what inspires the KQ jingle. Yeah. Because when I listen to it, man, from the 90s yeah. all the way to now, yeah. it's such an iconic piece of work. Yeah. And it's a, it's, a, it's a firm reminder of you know going home or flying. Or it just it makes you want to fly. Yeah. You know, uh, even before I tell you what inspired that song, yeah. let me tell you, many people tell me, and in fact we've seen it in clips, that especially when people have been away for a long time, mm -hmm. they're coming back home, they get into a KQ flight, mm -hmm. they play the jingle, mm -hmm. some people cry. Uh, it's that emotional. It is. It's that emotional. And there's yeah. a reason why. You know, that, that particular jingle was uh, was produced by uh, Matthew uh, Pibas, yeah. and uh, it was um, it was produced by Andrew, Andrew White, in 1993. And it tries to capture the essence of the spirit of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Because in that song you have, if you think about the instruments, there are all manner of instruments in there, the blue of root, the nyatiti, um, you know, the, so, you know, different types of uh, instruments yeah. that uh, show the essence of Kenya, the spirit of Kenya. Yeah. You have Masai chanting in there. Yeah. Uh, you hear the drums, the African drums. Uh, there are the songs, birds, the birds yeah. they are chirping. Uh, so everything is arranged in such a way that it actually tells you a story about Kenya. And it's so unique. Yeah, it's mad unique, so yeah. authentic also. Yeah. And a lesson to, you know, to artists who are listening to this right now, because I consider that to be a crossover hit. If you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like when people listen to it, it's a hit song. It's a hit song. It's a hook. Yeah. And just to anybody who's watching this right now, I think it's important to know that your culture, or when you go to the root, yeah, is where that's where all the answers are. Yeah. I've seen it with Nigerian musicians. I've seen it with so many different people. But I think we need to go to the source. Yeah. And you know the thing with this jingle, yeah, uh, which is which is very interesting, is that uh, we've tried many times to change it. Oh really? But every time we try and change it. <laughs> Everybody says no. Let's go back to the original. I think it's so should, authentic. We should we should do like a, a gangeton. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a gangeton mix to it. We should do a piano mix to it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just take it upon myself on TikTok. Yeah. To do different. But hey, people will kill me. Yeah. yeah. No, but I get what you're saying yeah. because I think we're just emotionally attached as a people. Yes. And it, it's gotten to a level where it's this is this is a, this is a bit blasphemous, but it's. High up there, second to the national land. Wow. You know, because it, it's KQ. It's yeah. us. You know, it's very emotive. Yeah. It's very, very emotive, yeah. man. I love it. I love the sound of it.